Hi there, my name is Dr. Monique Rivera, and I am a Napier Technology trained OBGYN physician. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the use of natural family planning versus the use of hormonal contraceptives. You know, oftentimes in life we find ourselves in situations where we're trying to space pregnancies within marriage and we're trying to figure out how best to maneuver the situation. You've already got a few children, you're trying to advance your career, you're trying to do other things in life or first possibly even a medical issue, you don't feel like you're capable of carrying pregnancy at this time. You're looking for a reliable method, one that doesn't hurt you in any way, and one that won't harm your fertility in the future when you're ready to try and conceive again. And so my suggestion to you would always be consider the fertility awareness-based methods like Crichton Fertility Care Natural Family Planning, Symptothermal Method, or the Marquette Method. This is such an amazing opportunity to learn about these fertility awareness-based methods because in these methods, you are learning to chart your cycles, chart your periods, chart your mucus patterns, chart the length of your cycle, and it helps you to truly understand what is going on with your fertility, not just at certain times of the cycle, but every single day you will understand what your fertility is. Now, symptothermal method is a method where you're charting your mucus, you're looking at your temperatures, and you're looking at all of those different factors, possibly even the consistency of your cervix, uh, the position of your cervix. Crichton Fertility Natural Family Planning is slightly different. It's a mucus only method and we're looking at the other biomarkers that are available for you to look at like your bleeding patterns and the length of cycle. The reason that I really like Crichton Fertility Care Natural Family Planning charting is that it can not only be used to achieve or avoid pregnancy, but it can also be used to address every gynecologic issue that's out there. So if you have ovarian cysts, if you have long cycles, if you have irregular cycles, if you have abnormal, abnormal bleeding, if you're someone who's dealing with um, difficult situations with fertility, Crichton Fertility Care Natural Family Planning can help you really understand what's going on hormonally in your system so that you can make the correct choices and choose to possibly draw labs and access all of the treatments that we have for you to address those issues. Now, why not hormonal contraceptives? Um, hormonal contraceptives are not actually derived from human beings. These are synthetically produced hormones or artemones that are similar to the hormones that are produced within our bodies. When they use these hormonal contraceptives, the purpose of those hormonal contraceptives is not to strengthen your system or help you to understand what's going on in your system, but rather to shut down your system. The goal of the hormonal contraceptives is to stop you from ovulating. In the cases of the pills, the patches, the NuvaRing, all of those things that have estrogen and progesterone, or even just progesterone that are pills, their goal is to prevent you from ovulating, but that doesn't always work. So sometimes you will have breakthrough ovulation, so they have backup mechanisms to try and help you not conceive a pregnancy or carry a pregnancy. Those backup mechanisms are things like damage to the sperm or thickening of the cervical mucus to prevent the sperm from getting where it needs to get. But one of the backup mechanisms that I really have an issue with is the thinning of the inner lining of the uterus. You see, so if you still ovulate, you're still releasing an egg, and that one sperm manages to get past everything and it manages to meet up with that single egg and you manage to conceive and create an embryo by thinning the inner lining of the uterus you're preventing that little embryo from being able to implant and that could result in a miscarriage or a very early abortion without you even intending for that to happen so you might be someone who's on hormonal contraceptives and you have these very light or non-existent periods and then all of a sudden you have this very heavy period and you're like, where did that come from? Well, if you're sexually active and you're using these contraceptives, it's possible that you might have conceived and not even known it. And then that heavier period could have been a very early miscarriage. And who wants to deal with that, honestly? I mean, you don't want to have children, but you also don't want to end the lives of your children, correct? So for all these reasons, I would recommend considering these fertility awareness-based methods. Symptothermal, 
Crichton Fertility Care Natural Family Planning. Marquette is another wonderful method. You use the clear blue fertility monitor every day from day six onwards in your cycle. You would check your urine and it would tell you if there's estrogen present or not. When the estrogen is present, you know that that is what causes the cervical mucus to be present. And the cervical mucus is your highway for the sperm. So if estrogen is present, you would abstain from intercourse until the time that you have hit fertility and then four nights after that, then you could resume intercourse if you have um, a proper cycle and everything is working well. Oftentimes people will combine methods. They'll use Crichton Fertility Care Natural Family Planning in combination with Marquette just so that they have extra confidence and that's totally fine to do as well. But these methods, they're inexpensive, they don't cause any harm to you or to the environment. You know, it's really interesting. If you look in Canada, in Lake Ontario, they have measured the amount of hormone that's in the water and they've looked at the fish. And these fish are actually transgender. They have both male and female parts within the fish. And it's all because of the effect of the hormones and the hormones are coming into that water because people are consuming these hormones through contraceptives and then urinating them out and that water is ending up in these lakes and it's con causing contamination. So if you don't want your body to be harmed in any way by these chemicals that can possibly increase your risk for cancer, can possibly cause other issues for you, aren't really helping you to understand what's going on in your body, but they're just rather shutting down your cycle and hiding the underlying issues, if you don't want to deal with any of that, consider the fertility awareness based methods and live a happy, healthy life. Take care. God bless.